Good morning. My name is Fran Partridge. Welcome to Assumption Parish, a member of the Windsor Heritage Catholic family of parishes. Today is the solemnity of Christ the King. Father Leo Walsh will preside at this morning's liturgy. Please stand. begin our Eucharist by asking our God to cleanse our minds and hearts that we may give glory to Christ our King. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we, bless we, you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God heavenly King, 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 O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Love, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will it is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service with and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock, when he is among his scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep 
I will rescue them from all places to which they have been scattered. On a day of clouds and thick darkness, I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed my sheep with justice. As for you, my flock, thus says the Lord God, I shall judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. A first reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death can come through man, the resurrection of the dead has also come through man. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. But each in his own order. Christ the firstfruits. Then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler, every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When all things are subjected to him, then the son himself will also be subjected to the one who put all things in subjection under him so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. 
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we, we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of my brothers and sisters of mine, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, you are accursed. Depart from me into the eternal fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. And I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. And I was a stranger and you did not welcome me naked and you did not give me clothing, sick and in prison and you did not visit me. Then they will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not care for you? Then he will answer them, truly, I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. A couple of years ago, so anti-COVID, I was finishing my class with grade 12 students and we discussed an article in that week's Catholic Register by Bishop Barron, based on a recent book on modern youth. And the bishop spoke specifically about the chapter dealing with religious practice of young people. And he said it made very depressing reading. Our class then discussed our local Catholic youth and the numbers of practicing their faith were far lower than those that was making the bishop sad. And we discussed how this trend might be stopped and even reversed. One student said that perhaps we'd reached the tipping point and that there was nothing we could do. But I did remind him of the eventual glory of Christ the king of the universe. I conceded, though, that we could be in this decline for years ahead if we can't find remedies. And all this before the pandemic, which won't help matters at all. The 2018th Synod on Youth didn't seem to provide any practical practical answers so that our youth may find their way back to Christ our King.
Christ our King, the wise men followed the star to find the newborn king, the king born in a stable. What faith they had to adore him in these humble surroundings. And our faith calls us too to adore the child in the crib, surrounded as we are by overwhelming secularization. You are a king then, Pilate asked him. Here the king is falsely accused by his own people before a Gentile ruler. Many people adore the king that they do not know by following their conscience for the good. We, though, who bear his name, are in a special way his own people. Do we accuse him falsely through our action or through our silence? Remember me when you come into your kingdom, the thief pleaded next to him on Calvary. The king ministers on the cross, promising the thief, the thief eternal life. Do we recognize the king himself in the poorest of our neighbors? And then we come to that last judgment described in today's scripture and depicted by Michelangelo on the roof of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. Depart from me, you that are accursed. So the wicked get their comeuppance and Jesus gets his own back with interest. Not at all. The king portrayed throughout our Gospels, isn't one who seeks vengeance. The king who sees us depart is brokenhearted. He weeps for the sinner as he wept over his beloved city, Jerusalem. He is still the shepherd who seeks the lost sheep. Those who do leave leave by their own choice, freely and deliberately, fixed in hatred of goodness, their king. Our church knows that departed from the king is a possibility. The church, though, has never proclaimed any person damned eternally. Mortal sin, though, is both a possibility and an actuality. The world may have lost its sense of sin, as in all the popes have said, since Pius XII. But we have not lost our sense of evil, except for some sociopaths and terrorists. You get atrocities reported daily in the media, ranging from whole-scale war on racial or religious minorities to starvation of millions, from widespread corruption to slavery and sexual exploitation, to the killing of our unborn and our sick and elderly, our world can and does embrace, embrace evil and sin. Thy kingdom come, we pray often. We may, though, kind of gloss over the meaning here, and we have to take it seriously. If we are going to work seriously for the kingdom, we have to be ready to do so, clothed first in the armor of virtue, all those virtues announced in our Gospels and in St. Paul, and above all, clothed in love, love of God and love of neighbor. And then we have to be prepared to spread the gospel by example, first of all, but also by word. 
we have to be educated in the ways of the kingdom. You remember when Isaiah the prophet shouted in answer to God, here I am, send me. And we say the same, I'm your man, Jesus. I'm your woman, Lord. All glory to Jesus Christ, our King. Would you stand and we'll say a creed together? I believe in God. by the Holy Spirit, born, born of the, the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary was suffered under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended, he descended into hell. hell. On, On the third, third day, he rose again from the dead. He, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now bring our petitions before the gracious God. For the Church to serve Christ our King by glorifying His name, delivering His word, and serving all in their various needs. We pray to the Lord for all government leaders to imitate the kingship of Jesus in their call for peace and love for justice and in compassionate care for their people. We pray to the Lord for Owen Mayu, Ava Gwilt, and Adrian Skiers and Carmen Deckert to experience the love, protection, and power of Christ the King as they receive him in the Eucharist for the first time today. We pray to the Lord, Lord for Ella Warren and Jace Badur, who join the church today through all the sacraments of initiation, and for Cohen Badur and Nicholas Deckard, who will be confirmed and receive Eucharist for the first time today. We pray to the Lord, Lord for the hungry and thirsty, the estranged and the naked, the sicked and imprisoned, to know the healing mercy of God as it is offered to them through the discipleship of the faithful. We pray to the Lord, Lord and for, all, for our beloved departed to be included among the sheep who inherit the kingdom prepared for them, especially Elvira Fisco, Carlo Ravatin, Isabella Braccio and Francesco Zacconi. We pray to the Lord. And let us pray for all of the intentions we hold in our hearts today. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, I said we would make our prayers to you in hope and in confidence, since we make them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our brother.
crave my sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. To the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king over all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross, as a spot spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and light, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We sing your death, O Lord. Profess your resurrection until the Lord's coming. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbling and praying that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of life together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, Joseph, his helper, Owen and his family, and all this community of faith, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to our Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life. The Lord say the word.
No, he's not worth fun. I don't know if I can announce with her, with her singing. I don't know if I can with her singing like that. I don't know if I can announce. Just go ahead. Yes, my sister. Jesus, the good of the gift of your body, instead of you. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ.
Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. We will not be selling missiles or Advent books this year due to the Diocese of London COVID-19 restrictions and guidelines. If you would like one, you can get them at Brisbane and Central. Offertory envelopes are available for pickup after each Mass next weekend. When you register for Mass, we will have a list of those who registered. These can be picked up at the rectory office off here in church through our drive through convenience. When you come, please tell us your envelope number. Would you like to increase your understanding and deepen your encounter with Jesus in the Mass? If you would like to meet with some other people with a similar interest, please see the parish website to learn about and register for a five-week virtual study led by young adult parishioners called a biblical walk through the, through the Mass. Register now for this Advent biblical study. Confirmation registration is now open until November 30th. If you are interested, please go online to fill out the registration form. You can also contact Jessica at the office or email her at jjarvis at dol.ca. Just remember, we will be collecting money for our treeless giving tree. You can put your donation in the basket provided at, on the way out. If you are willing to help with screening, ushering, or sanitizing the church, we would appreciate your help, especially during Christmas Masses. Please contact Jean Benito for further information. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.